I'll just give a simple understanding about how the mind works and how exactly the Upanishad is going to help us. Let me once more explain the word Upanishad. Just sitting. Maybe if I have to give the commentary for that word. Sitting with the enlightened being. That's all is the Upanishad. Let's first understand how our mind works. With a simple drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, Bhattananda, do you have a sketch? Oh, all right. Can you... This cloth is created for renunciation. You can't hold anything. <laughs> That's the problem. No packet or anything. You can't tie or hold anything in this cloth. I'm just giving you a simple explanation on how the mind works. Your mind is nothing but making your future into past. Understand? What you call as life is nothing but swallowing your future and making it into past. Am I right? It is just every moment constantly you swallow the future and make it into past. The future becoming past is what you call your mind or whatever you know as life. Nothing else. Just a time shaft, the past. Becoming, or the future becoming past. Future is entering into past. The space where this future and past meets, that is what we call present moment. Future is constantly entering into past, becoming past, is what we call your mind. Where the past and the future meets is the present moment, this moment. Past, for explanation's sake, I am just redrawing one more, one small time. The future is just disappearing into the past, like this is the way it is going, it's moving. Understand every step you need to understand completely, only then you will be able to Go with it. A little bit of introduction about the mind is good. This is like a user's manual. Owner's manual for mind. <laughs> Not even user's, owner's manual. Usually nobody, many people don't use, that is different. <laughs> but if you own, better to have. <clears throat> See, even though you have a car, in the, when in the moment you sit and put the seat belt, there is a big... Um, the, in, in, the information about airbag and it says for further details see the owner's manual how many of us have referred the owner's manual about the airbag <laughs> <laughs> at least with airbag it is okay even if you don't refer because it is going to be useful only when you have the accidents but if you don't have the owner's manual for mind you will create accidents you will create accidents and you will not even know that you are going through accidents every day. So better to have 
ओनर्स मैनुअल फॉर माइंड दिस इज द प्रसन्न मोमेंट वे आर द फ्यूचर इज डिस इन टू पास्ट दिस मोमेंट मे बी वी कैन कॉल अस प्रसन्ट Spelling is okay. <laughs> Spelling is right. Ah, okay. Because the see in the law firms, there's a the best kept secret is that senior lawyers have forgotten how to argue. Because they have just started managing, managing only juniors go and regularly argue. Just like that, I forgot how to write because I'm not writing. <laughs> I'm only speaking, speaking. <laughs> Sometimes I have to refer the spelling. Anyway, on the laptop, no problem. The spell check is there. <laughs> Now that creates all problem. When I type Devi and uh, type for spell check, it gives the option of devil. <laughs> Because it can't read the Sanskrit words. <laughs> That's another one problem. Anyhow. your mind understand now these few statements if you completely grasp we will realize the truth your mind is nothing but jumping from past to future past to future and past to future am i right thought is nothing but jumping from past to future or future to past you can't think in the present moment Try to create a single thought in present moment. You can't. The moment you come back to present moment, thoughts will disappear. Thinking is happening means you are jumping from past to future or future to past. Means here to here, here to here, here to here. This is what we call thought. Am I right? For example. If you are jumping hundred times from past to future, future to past, you have hundred thought per second. Per second, how many times you are jumping from past to future, future to past? That many number of thoughts you have. Are you able to grasp? If any of you have any doubt, put it in writing. End of the session, I will answer because this needs to be completely internalized by you. understand only if the internalization happens you will involve in the whole process you see you will do all sorts of illogical things nonsensical things for any pleasure but even to move one hand for spirituality you will have thousand question and you think you are very intelligent now that is the problem see for other things you will do all sorts of things without even bothering and even if your logic says it is not good many people come and tell me that smoking is bad i know but i am not able to drop what to do i have to give honey <laughs> usually i give energize and give the honey for de addiction anyhow even if you know it is not good your logic says you will do when it comes to pleasure but when it comes to any meditation or spiritual things even a small thing you will have too many logical questions and you think because of that because you are asking all logical questions for spirituality you are very intelligent or you have the pride i don't believe in superstitious things and you don't understand how many thousands of nonsensical superstitious things you have first idea you you are body is the first superstition you are carrying instead of looking into those big big superstitious things you are carrying the small small things you think as a superstitious things anyhow now at least internalize this so that you will be ready for the process you will be ready for the process 
If you are jumping from past to future, future to past, 100 times per second, you are having 100 thought per second. Let's call it as a TPS, thought per second. 100 TPS, for example. Maybe, when you are having 100 TPS, you will be away from the present moment. Am I right? This is the present moment where the future and past meets. If you are jumping too many times, that's what is going on now. <laughs> Naturally, you will be away from the past, away from the present. You will never be in the present moment. Because in the present moment, you can't think. There won't be any thought in the present moment. If you come back to present moment, there will be only beautiful silence. The more number of time you are jumping between past and the present and past and the future, past and the future, more number of thoughts. For example, under TPS means you are completely away from the present moment. What is happening in the present? Nobody bothers. Even if I am standing and talking here, you just pick up one thought and compare with what all you heard in your past lectures, discourses, classes, what you read, you will be now sitting and having a big comparison notes and you miss all other statements. And that is the problem. See, I am not saying whatever you heard is wrong or something, but now sitting and analyzing is wrong. Because you are going to miss my next statement. If you are sitting here, and the problem with the so-called spiritual seekers is well read. <laughs> well read. And completely confused. <laughs> Thoroughly confused, well read. And you can't do anything to help them, because any statement I make, now this fellow will be sitting and having ten dictionary. <laughs> and ten references. In that book it says like that, in that book it says like that. This guy will be doing two things. Either referring all these things and if all those books also says the same thing or if he finds some relationship he will say oh what he is saying is right or if he does not find right quotation or matching <laughs> this is not right I think he doesn't know completely he is too young <laughs> after all he is young leave it <laughs> that's the problem see whether you say yes or no by comparing notes, you are not going to grasp. Even if you say yes, you are going to miss the other statements which I am making. By the time you finish your analysis and come back, I have already gone 10 steps ahead. Now, just keep all the things which you read, studied, heard, one corner for two days. When you go back, you pick it up. I am not saying... Completely to, to throw away. Just for two days. Go into it completely and understand, internalize. If you are jumping between this and that, this and that, you will be away from the past, away from the present. Maybe, fortunately, sometime, you do some meditation or some pranayama or some kind of a technique. Then, Maybe if you bring your TPS down, means the jumping between future and past, future and past to 80 TPS. 80 thoughts per second. 80, instead of jumping 100 times, you jump 80 times. You come down a little bit towards the present moment. Am I right? If you do something else and jump and the reduce the jumping to 60. You come down little more to the present moment. And if you reduce it to 40. Sometime, very rarely, the powerful techniques are the blessings of an enlightened guru can bring it down to 20, even 20 TPS. See, this is just an example I am giving. 
It's not that you are now in 100 TPS, you are maybe in 1000 or 2000. I don't think you will be in 100. Hmm? Maybe it, it may be even million, I don't know. One person is zero, zero TPS. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sometimes even silence, people wake up. Wake up call happens. Oh, she is beyond that source also. Okay. <laughs> See, my talking sometimes feels like a lullaby. So you feel nicely. <laughs> nicely relaxed and taken care. When I give the break, suddenly you understand something is wrong. And you wake up. And the fun part is when these guys wake up, first thing they will do is... Looking at others. If you are looking at others, understand you are the person who slept. Not the neighbor. Now that is the fun part. And sometimes, these guys very... They will be just sitting and sleep. But first they will start with a... Let me listen with closed eyes. They will have the justification, I am meditating and listening. And... The next person pokes. I am listening. They won't even open the mouth to tell I am listening because the sleep will be disturbed if you talk. They will say, that. You attend, you listen, I am okay. I am listening. These guys, what to do, huh? I always tell people that meditative listeners are the people who are thinking something else. Are lost somewhere. Rarely by the presence of the master you come down to uh, or the, some initiation or some process can bring it down even to 20 TPS. When you come to the present moment step by step, step by step, step by step when you come Suddenly you will have the intelligence of seeing the future and the past clearly. Understand? From this place, can you see the past or the future clearly? No. You can't even see the past, past or the future clearly. When you come down, you may be able to see a little better. See, from here, you can see only like a, this much, maybe, maybe that also. From here, little more your vision will improve. From here, 60 TPS you may improve, little more. From 40, little more you may be able to see. When, you, when, our, when your TPS reduces, you will have the intelligence to see the past, and future. One important thing. Now it feels like I am giving you a big promise. If you are, if you become, if you come to the present moment, you can see your future. So naturally it looks like a big promise or too good to be true. Let us analyze one important thing. Sometime when you are in a party, suddenly you will think that some person is going to come in next few minutes and you will see that person is there. And sometime when telephone rings, suddenly you remember somebody who, you, whom you did not remember for two years and when you pick up the phone, that person is online. When a doorbell rings, suddenly you remember a relative who has not come to your home for five years or whom you have not remembered, for forgotten for five years. When you open the door, that guy is standing there. How many of you had this kind of experience at least once or twice in your life? Wow! <laughs> Understand? If it happens, but when it happens, what do you do usually in the mind? A coincidence. Am I right? Yes. If it happens in one person's life, once it can be called as coincidence. Am I right? Practically now 98% of you 
say that you had this experience. When 98% of you had the experience, how can this be called as coincidence? You can't brush this aside in the name of coincidence. Am I right? If 98% of the people are experiencing, how can that be called by the word coincidence? No. Then you need to change the meaning of the word coincidence. Coincidence means what? Rarely, in some one or two person's life, which happens, may, may not. But now, the evidence says, 98% of the people, in 98%'s life, 98 percentage of the people, in 98 percentage of the people are experiencing means, how can that be called as coincidence? There is something more than coincidence in this thing. We can't brush this aside just in the name of coincidence. This is what we call intuition. Means, when that doorbell was ringing, or when that cell phone was ringing, maybe sudden jerk or some reason, your TPS dropped. When the TPS drops, it can drop even by force sometime. When TPS dropped, you are able to see the future, next five minutes of the future. Clearly, you had the glimpse of time shaft. This is the time shaft. The future disappearing into the past. When the TPS dropped, it can drop at any moment by sudden, when something suddenly happens, when your mind is not capable enough of processing that information, suddenly the TPS drops. When the TPS drops, you saw the future. Just you had the glimpse of the future. Next five minutes, what is going to happen? I think you are able to connect with what I am saying. Hmm? That is the reason you are able to see or think who is going to come or what is going to happen. See, suddenly a doorbell ring, ringing or the cell phone ringing or even if you are really relaxed and happy, sometime in the, some parties when you don't have your direct relatives, your in-laws, <laughs> you may be completely relaxed. Maybe suddenly the TPS has come down. That is the reason you had the glimpse of next five minutes of your future. If you are, you see, if your TPS falls accidentally itself, you have the glimpse of your future. If it can be brought down consciously, then understand the value, understand the experiences, understand the clarity which can be added into yourself. If it drops even accidentally, you will have the glimpse of the future. All of you are able to see because I am hiding. Hmm? Now seeing this face won't help. Ma, this has to, later on that will help. First now, <laughs> only understanding this will help. This side okay? This whole program is all about Hmm? Oh, you are not able to. Then, I think. Okay. Hmm. Oh, then, I have to repeat the whole thing once more. <laughs> okay. You understood? Yes. All right. Otherwise, you will be doing something else. <laughs> Better to understand all these things. Because even if you miss a single statement, you may miss and miss the whole thing. It's a very step-by-step -step understanding which you need to go through but it's worthy of understanding. Now the next few statements which I am going to make are very mystical. Understand? Now whatever I spoke looks very logical and they are logical. The next few statements are going to be very mystical. Enlightened person is a person who is established in the present moment whose energy is in zero TPS. 
is neither lost in the future nor lost in the past. Understand? The first statement which I am making, enlightened person is a person who is established in the present. If you can bring down your TPS and establish yourself in the present, you are enlightened. One more thing, Future, past, present, all these three put together only is called as eternal. Am I right? Eternal means nitya. Eternal. You can touch the eternity only in the present moment.